My name is Vincent Lunetta. I am 79 years old. I was present at the Maplewood Caddy Camp uh, during the Second World War and was not a caddy at that time. In 1949, I became a caddy at Bretton Woods Caddy Camp for the Mount Washington Hotel. And so I worked as a caddy as a boy when I was 12 years old through uh, was my first year in college. North Bend Street Industrial School had courses organized, which they called caddy courses, that one was expected to complete that a caddy course before arriving the first year. And caddies, if they're not well informed about what the expectations of golfers are, could do some things that could really irritate golfers who had high self-concepts of what they wanted to do in golfing. If, if one was going to be a good caddy in those days, and probably today as well, which is much more mechanized today, one does not stand in between the golfer and where he is trying to hit the ball. If there's a caddy holding the flag to remove the flag before the ball goes in the cup, uh, we don't want the caddy having a shadow crossing the, the, the route that the golf ball is likely to take. And there's a whole array of issues like that. You know, caddies who were well-behaved didn't talk while golfers were strategizing what they were going to do and trying to hit the ball, and on and on and on. Uh, I know that in Bretton Woods, we had a person who was a member of staff, caddy camp staff, which was relatively slim, but there was a person who, who was responsible for walking around the golf course while the caddies were engaged in caddying and keeping an eye on what was going on in terms of the quality of their service. And when something was observed that was a really worthwhile thing to comment about that was considered to be worth a good grade, and when the caddy was observed to be doing something that was not quite so appropriate, that, that was not helpful.